How's it going YouTubers? Nightmare 70 here and back with another toy review finally after a few months. I've been real busy you guys so that's why I haven't been doing any toy reviews. But I am back with one finally and today I am reviewing. That's right for the next few days I'll be doing toy reviews on the Unite Warrior Superion. I am going to be doing um one figure per video. Just to save me time. If you've seen my review on the Power to Primes. Terracons and um Combiner Wars Stunticons, you'll remember I did individual videos for each com figure. And we're going to do the same thing here, but before we can get started, let's take a quick look at the Unite Warriors packaging. Because honestly, whew, very beautiful. You got Superion with his limbs, limb buddies. And this looks beautiful. Yeah, Superion. I'm guessing that's Transformers in Japanese. Right there. Now it's not a sticker, it's actually printed on the cardboard. Unite Warriors. UW01. I'm guessing that this is the first set for Unite Warriors. Unite Warriors. I think Japanese I think this is in I think that's that in Japanese or this in Japanese. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese, you guys. Quick look at Superion's head. An auto a, a black Autobot symbol with the red line. Back here, not much interest. This Superion's head. Oh, hopefully you saw that welcome to the lighting and just to show you how Superion looks. A, a, a better look at the figure of in combined mode. Now they do form the limbs. Silverbolt, Fireflight, Slingshot, Skydive, and Air Raid. And on the back, nothing, not much besides Unite Warriors and I don't know what this says. I don't speak Japanese, you guys. And this actually folds up. I already took out the figures, but here we got the combiner themselves, the figure themselves, the aerial bots, and the stuff in Japanese. I don't can't read. So that's enough for the box. Let me get that out of the way. Hang on a second. If my whew, come on, focus, stay, stay. Hang on, you guys. All right, now that the now that I got the box out of the way, and this is how my phone stands. But today I'm starting with one area bot, and that is I can probably tell by the title. We're gonna start with Slingshot. Now I actually wanted to do him next, mainly because I'm actually familiar familiar with this mold. I used to have the Hasbro version of him. The Jet Blast Off, which I got rid of a while back. Now that I managed to get the Shuttle one. And I don't regret getting that figure back then. I just thought it was time for a more appropriate looking Blast Off. Now that I have the Shuttle one, yeah. I'm so happy to have that one. If you remember, Blast Off had this exact same mold. He even shared the same slingshot head. Which didn't bother me at all. You can always have something different for your combiners if you like. But we're gonna start with slingshot. Now, the this is a, definitely a cartoon accurate paint job. I don't know if you can see that well because of my blockage. Okay, that's better. Okay, that's better. So you can tell slingshot is all white. Now, if you now, the main reason I picked this setup is not only because it's cartoon accurate, because I do sometimes go for cartoon accuracy for some figures. For However, for a Menasaur and Defensor, I prefer the Hasbro version more. Even if they aren't cartoon accurate, I like their paint jobs more than the Unite Warriors sets. For Slingshot, not to mention the price of the Hasbro version of this guy. Whew, <laughs> that's so much. Over a hundred bucks for, for the Hasbro version of this guy. And he was also called Quick Slinger. Now, not much different, except he didn't have the um, black lining or the Autobot symbol on the front. It was just all white. And the Autobot symbols were smaller. I think these were a little different. Now, I don't have the Hasbro version. <laughs> I don't plan on getting that one anytime soon. Not really because of the current prices. Not only because it's so high priced, I just prefer a more accurate version for the area bots so here we have slingshot and man that looks beautiful nice and white the orange cockpit 
the Autobot symbol if it'll focus. Come on, focus. I'm really sorry, you guys. Focus. So he has. So he's all white, like I said. Three, two red linings on the outside. The middle has the blue line. One Autobot symbol on each side, which is all red, with the lining being silver. The front, the Autobot symbol. Is done in a darker red. Come on, focus. I don't see that. And the cockpit is all orange. A black landing gear. His fin is all white with blue. Now it looks like it'd be the same blue as this one. Now, that is very beautiful. Now the weapons he comes with, he obviously comes with the exact same ones as the Hasbro version. This time done in white though. Now it's not as white as the figure himself. This one's like a dark, an off white. And for the hands and feet, st they still share the same one. Him and Firefly share this one. Skydive and Air Raid share these ones. So each one still have those. However, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make one of them an arm, and one of these an arm too. So each one can be an arm and a leg, just because. And for storage, you can do it here if you like. So it's important right there. And to store a hand foot gun, you can do the same thing here. See? If you want some. But honestly, that looks ridiculous. That, that bothers me. So it doesn't, as long as you don't lose these, I can promise you I won't. Because these are very expensive. I paid over 200 bucks for a set. But anyway, so not much to say for, um, plain mode, but very nice set. Now, the Hasbro version, almost for, before I go, this, the Hasbro version would have a replacement, being Alpha Bravo, which I used to have, but I got rid of him in a trade a long time ago. Hopefully, hopefully I can get him again soon. There was just some other stuff I was looking for. But let's just hope I get Alpha Bravo soon. If I do, I'll definitely be happy to do a review on him. And I'll have him just as his own bot. But remember, like I said, the slingshot was the arm. Now, I'm not going to show the scramble shitty, scramble, city combine, combiner modes. <laughs> Honestly, you can just look up another video. If you know MGO, he actually does, he actually did review on Firefly and Blast Off. He'll show you. If I remember correctly, he did show both arm and legs, at least for Firefly anyway. So I am going to skip, skip the transformation. I'm not going to show you leg or arm mode because I don't care for that stuff. So I'll be right back, you guys. So we're going to skip from those, from this mode, to robot mode. So hang on. Alright, so here he is Slingshot in robot mode. And he's definitely cartoon accurate. If I can have him stand straight looking at the camera. There we go, perfect. Do you remember the Hasbro Slingshot? Who was actually called Quick Slinger because of copyright reasons. Hasbro called him a Quick Slinger. Which I can understand, because it's trademark. But for this guy, if you remember the Hasbro slingshot or quick slinger, I'm just. Gonna... Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Again, you guys, I'm so sorry. But I don't have a phone stand. Alright, so if you remember, remember the Hasbro Slingshot had a blue visor, which wasn't, cart definitely wasn't cartoon accurate at all, but it might be, it can still be an appropriate color for an Autobot, but honestly, for me, I wouldn't mind, but this one, the orange on the, this guy's visor is not as orange as on his face. His visor is like a lighter orange, while his um, face is more like a, I don't know, pumpkin orange. <laughs> but remember, the Hasbro version also had silver here. And I don't mind him not having silver. This is also cartoon accurate. Honestly, I don't care if it has less paint. 
I just prefer cartoon accurate paint job for these guys. And the Autobot symbol for the Hasbro version was also on here, was here, not on his shoulder. But definitely still cartoon accurate. I really don't regret buying this set. And I think he had a little more black, like on his hips. But again, doesn't bother me at all. As long as his visor wasn't red, that's all I care. I know Slingshot, I mean, I know Superion himself has a red visor. Might get that painted over because red eyes slash visor for an Autobot, I don't find it appropriate. That's more of a Decepticon thing. And I know his is orange, so I don't mind. As long as it's not red, I don't care. I don't mind having the orange visor still looks nice. So articulation for this guy, his head is on a ball it's only so he can look up and down. Like Amgo would say, squirrel! <laughs> you can do 360 since it's on a ball joint. His arms are on ball joint so you can do 360. You got um, ratchet joints. So you can do 90 degrees. Same thing with back if you want to break his arm. Same thing with the other one. Same thing applies with the other arm. Um, he can do um, about 90 degrees. A he can do the split. He can do he don't, his arms are also on his legs are also on ball joint, so he can do 360. It's on a mushroom peg as well, so he can do 360. And he can also he has enough articulation to do a soccer goal, a soccer kick goal. <laughs> so very nice figure. If you can get this guy, if you can get the Unite Warriors Superior for a good price, or if you just want a um. Uh, any version of Superion based off of this design for the cheapest price possible, you might be better off getting the um, knockoff set. But keep in mind, the Alpha Bra it has Alpha Bravo, and you could actually, if you have the Shuttle Blast off, if you get the knockoffs of a Bru Bruticus and Superion, uh, what I would recommend, or I believe they did do a um, Generation Two Bruticus knockoff, whichever you can get cheap. But if they did, you might want to get the blast off. At least just get the Generation 2 blast off. Customize that yourself. Or have somebody do it for you. Because it's already white. And I hope painting white on dark colors is really hard. I had a friend who has the knockoffs of Sephensor, Bruticus, and um, Superion. He actually has the Shuttle Bruticus. And he actually um, uh, used the blast off. Into it made it into his own slingshot based off the Hasbro version, which is very nice. I don't blame him saving money because whew, the price of the Hasbro slingshot, dang, very expensive. If you just want, if you don't care about cartoon accuracy, if you just want a um combiner war superior, but and if you want to save money, get the knockoffs. Trust me, I heard the quality of the plastic is exactly the same, it just have the um third party symbols. So you might want to get some Autobot symbol stickers, same thing with the Decepticon one, and just apply them on, and boom, you're good to go. Honestly, I don't care about knockoffs. I'm not accepting those. But let's do a three. Oh man, do a three sixty a slingshot. Very nice. I really enjoy this figure. You can get him some very good poses. And now, and see those little tips? They could act like firearms. They can act like null rays, similar to seekers. <laughs> and make sure the cockpit's up. And, um, oh shoot. So here, let's give him his, for this arm, let's give him this gun. The, the actual handgun. Or this gun himself. And for, um, the other one, let's give him his hand foot gun. Which is double barreled. <laughs> let's just give him this. I don't mind giving him this. Extra firepower, why not? If it can fit. There we go. Now that looks ridiculous, but it's firepower. You can get some use for it. But like I said, the, the red on this figure, on his chest and on his little legs, very nice looking red. Got a little bit of black on his port, his combiner port, and on his, uh, hate to say it, crotch. But honestly, it's still a nice design. But again, these can be firepower. It can be some good poses. Very I, the white. Oh my goodness, 
so beautiful very shiny looks like it and it looks like his um thigh these pieces here they look like they're made of they're actually silver which is very nice definitely i don't regret buying this figure and you shouldn't either as long as well, you have the hasbro if you're gonna get the um the hasbro version good luck it's very expensive just make a custom you guys like i said if you can get it, my recommendation is either get the generation 2 blast off and if like i said if i remember correctly they did make a um knockoff of generation 2 bruticus i think and they use the exact this is type of blast off figure the jet blast off you might want to um, it does have some purple but i guess you can just paint red over that but what's in jet mode i do hope you can actually remove that with rubbing alcohol if you just want a superior a slingshot for your superior get that one trust me you guys it'll save you a little bit of money but other than that, my thoughts of Superion, man, very beautiful. And I forgot to show you this. This is also black. I didn't notice that. But, man, very beautiful, you guys. Again, the, the um, white on this one's also more of an off-white. It's not as white as Superion. Slingshot himself. But, man, very good. Be <laughs> Look. I'm not sure. I don't think I showed you his face. He's not smiling. Yeah, he's not smiling, you guys. He definitely hates Decepticons. They don't make him happy. But that's okay. You'll have some Decepticons to fight, buddy. I'll also be reviewing my Protectobots and Combaticons later on, you guys. But for now, for the next few days, hopefully by... I'll try to get up most of the, the area bots this weekend. But if you can find him... Whew, very nice. If you can get the Hasbro version, good luck, you guys. For a good price, if you can get it. If you can get the Hasbro Superion, go ahead. As long as you can get them with Slingshot, good luck, you guys. Very pricey. I know you get a deal if you buy them individually. But I'm just happy to get Unite Warriors. If you can get them, if you, can have, if you have the money for it, get that one instead. Considering the price of this guy for the Hasbro version. So, but again, my thoughts on Superion. Oh, no. Slingshot, man, this is guys. This guy is so beautiful. You're very beautiful, my man. Let's do one last 360 of him. Man, very beautiful. So stay tuned for another Aerial Bot review. I'll be back with that one ASAP. But take care, you guys. I'll be back soon. Till all are one. Till all are one if I can talk today. <laughs> What I'm saying. So again, stay tuned for my next toy review. It will most likely be Firefly, because I'm used to this mold, so I already know how this goes. And again, I'll show you um, his arm mode. Him and um, Firefly were the arms for Superior, you saw. I'll show that before actually. I might not show you the transformation on them, but I will show you how they look before I display, combine them, put them in their ports on Silverbolt. But again, take care, you guys. I'll be back soon, but for now, take care, you guys. Nightmare 70 out.